Okay, so time to test one of my 12AX7s. There. So what we're going to do on my Mark III AVO valve tester, first thing we're going to do is make sure our settings are correct, our backing off is on zero, our meter switch is at 100, we've checked our valve already, so the our milliamp set is on 1.6, which is the optimal for a 12AX7. So we want to take our meter over to test. We want to bring this up to 2.5. Now as we watch the needle go up, as the valve warms up, and once it's once it's warmed up, it'll stop. So we've got to give it a, a little bit of time to stop. Then we're going to adjust our backing off, which we want to take back and tar it back at zero. Let's give it another couple of seconds, make sure it's gonna stay on our zero mark. Okay. So we're on our optimal, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our meter switch to milliamp slash volts. And we're just going to wait, because we want to bring it down to where it says good, right there in the middle. That's where it needs to be. Okay, so I will give it a second then we want to check back at 2.5 and make sure we're still on our zero mark and we have gone a little bit off so we'll go back to dead center okay check again okay so this valve is reading 1.3 maybe 1.4 which is still good it's not optimal but it is still good it's still a good valve Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take it back to 2.5 and we want to check our NO2. So we go across to our NO2. You'll notice the needle fluctuates a little bit because it's a different reading. So we use our backing off to zero again. Okay, make sure we back up to 1.6 and we take it across and we check the other, other side. Now, same sort of thing, she's probably 1.4, 1.5, no 1.4, so our first one was 1.3, this one's 1 1.4, so she's very closely matched, which is what we're looking for in a valve. Even though it's a little bit low, it's still a very usable valve. Okay, so we'll take it off. Make sure our tar is still on zero. Check her again. Yep, and she's pretty well even with the first one. That's how we check our 12AX7.